Is this too dark of lighting? Somehow I feel like this is like precipitously worse than any other vlog I've made on this channel, but maybe it's no different. I don't know. It's exceptionally dark right now. Uh, it is 3.09 in the morning. You guys can't even see what time it is. Uh, 3.09. And uh, we just got home from Austin, and that is where we went today for my mom's birthday. We started out in New Braunfels, which is a fun little Texas town. If you guys have been here for a lot of years, then you might remember Dogman and I went to a really cool water park in New Braunfels years ago called Schlitterbahn. I don't know, maybe you guys have heard of it, because I know like when Travel Channel or whatever does those uh, like 20 greatest water slides or like 50 greatest water parks, you know, and they have the little countdowns. I know Schlitterbahn is always in it because I think it is like, it's been voted like the greatest water park in the world or something. Uh, so we started off there. We didn't go to the water park, unfortunately, but you guys, it was so crowded there today in New Braunfels, Austin, just kind of like the whole Texas Hill Country area. That's not Hill Country. Uh, what is that even? What? <laughs> This is, this is shameful. Uh, Texas is my country. That's a bad joke. Um, but, uh, we, we came to find out that there was some sort of, I think they said like TV and radio, um, what is the word for it? Convention, I guess. So it was like really crowded, but we still had a really good day. My mom, I think had a really good birthday and I kind of failed at filming the cake. So I know I told you guys yesterday that I got her a Groot cake and it turned out so cute. I'm definitely gonna like slide in some photos. I filmed a little tiny clip of the Groot because the Groot was actually like kind of the cake topper made out of fondant, but everybody was so anxious to eat the cake. I just totally had a brain fart. Okay, edit. <laughs> um, Is this better or is this worse? I kind of can't tell. Maybe a little better. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, Groot cake got delivered today and I think everybody was just so excited to eat it by the time we got back to the house that it was kind of just like I took pictures and then everybody had cut it and then I was like, no, I forgot to film it. But it was so cute and it was so pretty. They did the bottom, like the actual edible part of the cake. I mean, maybe you could eat Groot, but I don't, I generally don't think fondant tastes that good. Like anytime I've had a special cake with like a fondant design on it, I just don't find fondant very good. I know it is edible. I just don't like to eat it. Uh, but the bottom cake part was so pretty. It They made it like swirled like a galaxy fitting. Um, but I really, it, it tasted so good and it was so cute. It's from a little local place called Rise Cupcakes and I went in about three or four days ago and <clears throat> and I ordered it and I was so happy. It, it, turned, it turned out perfect. She was so excited. Um, so, I thought we would do a little something different on this channel today. Uh, and I thought we would kind of do a chill little haul type of video. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> it's not like it would ever be any pressure for you guys. I just feel like I have had a meltdown over the past like eight months. And so everything for me now that used to just feel like a normal <clears throat> mundane kind of task is now I'm just like, oh, like just freaking out. That's why I feel like I've just kind of like run away to this magical channel <laughs> and uh, and I'm just kind of chilling for a minute. I, I need it and I need a sippy sippy of hot tea. Uh, would you guys even believe? I did not go to Starbucks one time today. <laughs> um, I, I kind of don't know, I don't, a, there's not really a lot of Starbucks in Austin. I feel like they definitely cater more towards like non-corporate stuff. The only Starbucks I know of in Austin is on 6th Street and that one actually is really good. But I generally like don't hang out on 6th Street at, mu at much, uh, really at all. Uh, I'm, I'm literally not a drinker and mostly on 6th Street there's a lot of bars and one Starbucks. And Voodoo Donut, which is really awesome if you're ever in Austin and you love donuts. They are so amazing. Do recommend. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so no Starbucks today. 
I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, but I did go to coffee bean and tea leaf and I'm so sad I don't think we have one of those in Houston But I know coffee bean and tea leaf is in like most other cities. I feel like in the world and uh, I love their ice dark chocolate coffee. It is so delicious But I feel like that's another reason why it's like three in the morning And I'm so wide awake is because I always get a medium. I always tell myself I'm gonna get a small one always get a medium the medium is definitely probably too much for me because it has two shots of espresso and I feel like the flavor is so good and like when I'm out and about and Austin like shopping and doing fun things I feel like it's great to have that like oh like little extra pep in your step like boost of energy from all the caffeine and then when you get home or like when the kind of like the jolt of the caffeine wears off it really kind of like makes me panicky and I definitely should probably not consume it always hits me around dinner time because every time I'm in Austin I always get the coffee in the afternoon and then by dinner time, I'm like, like literally like jumping out of my skin. I never learn. I never learn. Uh, so I'm drinking like homemade hot tea. It was hot. Now it's kind of like room temperature. Are we six minutes in already? This is insane. I didn't intend to just ramble in this video. I actually had a purpose. Um, cause we went to one of my favorite stores in Austin today. Um, and I just mentioned them, I think, in a recent vlog. I, I can't keep my life straight anymore, so I don't know if I mentioned it on this channel or on Graveyard Girl. <sighs> But I just was mentioning Toy Joy and Monkey See Monkey Do, but we went to Toy Joy today and I thought I would do like a nice chill little haul because I found some cute stuff. And actually some of it was like birthday presents for my mom, which I've already given to her, but I, I don't know. I still, I felt like it would be kind of fun to show you guys. So I brought it up here. I thought we could do like a little haul. So I got for my mom, this is the cutest thing. It actually might be better to turn the light on for this portion. Is this better? Does this make things look better or worse? I really can't tell. But it is a little Groot purse and it's from that brand Loungefly. I feel like I've had some stuff from them before. So this is like a crossbody strap or at least a longer strap. But I feel like they make really cute stuff. It's like vegan leather, fake leather. What do they call that anymore? And then I got the matching little um, coin purse. So it looks the same, but this can be like a keychain. I just thought that was so cute. My mom loves Groot, as you can tell. Groot cake, that was like the theme of her birthday this year. I got her like a lot of cute Groot stuff and also Gudetama. So I'll go ahead and show you guys these two things. Oh my gosh, I we used to forever at our big Houston mall. They've always had a Sanrio store, like my whole life. And I don't know, I guess it just wasn't like pulling in the numbers that they needed. And so finally it recently closed. I think just earlier this year and it's such a bummer because I don't know where to get like cute Sanrio stationery products anymore. I mean except for like online but that lacks a certain amount of instant gratification that I do enjoy. So um, my mom actually found these today in Toy Joy and she was like, oh, which one should I get? And I was like, mm, just get them both. Cause this one was like $3 and the other one was $5, but they're two notebooks. So this is like DJ Gudetama, uh, but it's so cute. It's just like a little lined, it's kind of like a miniature. It's not like a normal like eight by 10 notebook, but um, then look at this one. I love this little design. He is like the little yolk and he's like jumping out of the egg. Um, so he's just doing cute little things on the corner of each page. All the pages are the same, but there's like four little different mini designs. And then this one is actually pretty cute because it's got this like elastic thing on the front so you can like slide a pin in there, a pen or a pencil, whatever you want. Uh, once again, Gudetama. And then you can see his little egg butt on the back. So cute. Uh, and all the pages are the same again, but I feel like this uh, kind of like paper design is not kind of as cute as the other one, but so it's like his top half is on one side of the notebook and then his little egg butt is on the other side. So cute. I don't even know what this is. I was just like a random piece of paper. Perfect. Um, sweet. Oh, and then 
then the last thing that I got for her, which we're gonna open tomorrow, is a Gudetama blind box. And they actually had all their blind boxes on sale for 15% off right now, which is making me a little bit paranoid. I hope they're not gonna stop carrying blind boxes at Toy Joy because it's kind of like one of my favorite places to go to purchase blind boxes because I feel like they have a lot of kind of like more rare blind box items. I mean, they have a lot of Kid Robot, but they also have a lot of Rement, and I love Rement. We opened, I don't remember how long ago this was, but we, I, I will try and remember what video it is and link it to you guys below, because it was kind of one of my favorite blind boxes ever to open. Rement makes all kinds of really hyper-realistic, teeny tiny, like, sets, and they all have a different theme. Like, some of them are food. They even do, like, um, a Gudetama one, a Hello Kitty one I've seen. Uh, but the stuff that we opened was, like, little, uh, little miniature. <laughs> it was, uh, miniature, like, school I don't know how to describe it. It would be like desk, a locker, like little notebooks, textbooks, all kinds of cute stuff. Um, so I hope they're not going to stop selling blind boxes is the moral to that story. But these are cute. I think there's six different options. I really like this one where he's just like a drippy looking yolk. Perfect. And then um, I got this because this is just so random. Oh, now I need to turn the light out so you can see the full... You guys see this? It's like a little space gun. I just like to have this stuff around the house. I love all kinds of things. I mean, I feel like I am like, I I always say this. It's kind of like I am two people in one person because I feel like I'm a very old soul and I love like all the old stuff and antique -y stuff. But then on the other side, I feel like I'm a total kid at heart and I always just like to have like funny, cute little things laying around the house. So when people come over and hang out, it's just, I don't Oh, it's just fun. Do you know what I mean? Fun, fun, fun. Um, not fun though is this giant pimple. Can you guys see? I think this is what I was like, what's going on with my face the other day? Uh, I am suddenly like bursting. My face is bursting with pimples. And maybe they're not even pimples. Maybe they're zits, honestly, because it's not the kind of pimple where you get and you're like, oh, drat, I've got a pimple. That's maybe not the greatest look in the world. It's like, painful and I had sunglasses on all day today and it was just like bonk like on this like painful zit and I probably have it there from wearing sunglasses so much and like having my face sweat not good um oh yeah I got this thing for dog man he loves these little like I haven't even shown him this yet oh the phone's ringing let me get that and we're back I don't remember where I was where was I? Oh yeah, I got Dogman this thing today. I haven't even shown it to him yet. It's like a surprise, but it's like these little, he has a really big one. So I don't even know if he's gonna find this one like as much fun, but he has a, did I just say a little one? He has a much bigger one, like this little thumb piano. And it's just, I don't know. I think it's kind of like a little stress reliever for him. It's not like a sophisticated instrument, I guess. Or maybe it is. I don't know anything about instruments. Um, the other things I got is in this tiny little bitty bag. And they're called Good Luck Minis. And you guys, this is the tiniest baby, tiniest baby that I think I have in my whole collection. It was 39 cents. Uh, but look at this. It is a teeny tiny little miniature baby. There's, there he is compared to my pinky finger. I almost said my thumb. This is not a thumb. Um, and then I got this for my mom. I forgot. I forgot that this was here. It's a little teddy bear. But it's a teeny tiny little teddy bear. I actually love these. This one is not like squishy. But I've had some of these before. Um... I've gotten an envelope like this in Swamp Family Mail before. Uh, people have sent me the little good luck alligator and I love these so much because they're like so squishy. They're like really rubbery. So they're just kind of like relaxing. I think I have a little good luck pig in my wallet. And then the next thing I found was beautiful because you guys may or may not know Clockwork Orange is my favorite movie of all time. My tattoo, in fact, does not say Real Housewives, as so many people think. It says Real Horror Show. This is my first tattoo ever, so it's it, it was honestly not done that well, and it's, it's not lasting that well. Like, I'm always torn if I want to get it, like, fixed or touched up or just leave it 
how it is. I never know what I'm ultimately gonna do. I kind of always hate to change it because it's like kind of like my first tattoo. I feel it's like a part of me just the way it is. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but they had an abundance of clockwork orange buttons. I've never seen these in my life, but they probably had about 10 to 12 different designs, but this one was my favorite. And so I got it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I might put it on the visor of vlog car. I used to have a bunch of buttons in there. I don't know where a lot of my vlog car decorations went to. Um, and then I got two plushies because you guys know I literally have a problem where I'm like addicted <laughs> to stuffed animals. So I got this little cow because it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. So adorable. Didn't need a plush cow. It's actually the plush cow I didn't know that I needed. Um, and then I got this flamingo, which is even tinier. I feel like I just keep this stuff around to just like put me in a good mood. It's literally nothing that I needed. Um, and then the last two things, I feel like I kind of like saved the best for last. So it was in a favorites video a couple months ago. He's actually, he's in our bedroom, uh, but Dogman got me one of these, um, I'll just show you what it is. So there are these little things that are called Nina droids. And I think it was in my May monthly favorites, April monthly favorites. I don't remember. Had to be May monthly favorites. But Dogman got me one of these that is the Suicide Squad Joker. Because that's my favorite. Uh, but then at Toy Joy I saw these and Dogman loves the Heath Ledger Joker. I think technically Jack Nicholson Joker is his favorite, but he really likes Heath Ledger Joker. And I know this is the most unpopular opinion I could possibly have. That's definitely like my least favorite Joker. I know it is most people's favorite. I know I'm just totally going against the grain and rubbing many people the wrong way every time I say that. Um, but I really thought Dogman would enjoy this. So they, you know what? I won't slide him out of the box. These things are honestly the cutest and I know that I mentioned this somewhere along the way but Dogman has gotten into doing um stop I, I always want to call it stop animation that's not what it's called stop animation um because we recently started collecting like six scale figures but uh, he has been practicing some with my Suicide Squad Joker. These things are called Nina droids. But these are like really cool and they, you can like put them in a lot of different poses. Like they're really jointed is I guess what I'm trying to say. And the other cool thing is, is they each come with, well I guess this one only comes with two different faces. Suicide Squad Joker came with three different faces. But they come with different faces and different little accessories. But you would be surprised how jointed like their arms and legs and like even the torso and stuff can bend. So it's just really kind of cool if you like to like move them around or if you like to do like six scale or not six scale animation, but you know what I mean. If you like to do stop motion animation. That's what it is. Uh, and then I thought we should have at least one Batman. So I got this one. Um, oh, the little box is already open. Imagine that. I don't know if he has, I don't think he comes with a different face, but he comes with like a different cape. Oh, I'm so, so ooh. Good thing we don't keep the boxes because I just ripped this. Um, so then we got Batman and they come with like different hands and stuff and he has a different he doesn't have a different different is not the word I was looking for but he's got a little um bat signal and oh my gosh you guys I just found um so I just got myself kind of like the last hot toys that has anything to do with Suicide Squad Joker um and it's like an imposter Batman Suicide Squad Joker. It's so cool, but we were kind of like looking up different. This is like the most nerdiest conversation I feel like I've had <laughs> like across all of the platforms, but we were looking up kind of like different costume pieces or just like one six scale things like um, they make extra boots or extra like different clothes or whatever for the figures and they make a 
bat signal, but it's not a bat signal. It's like a joker signal and it's so cool, but it's like $95. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even think I can justify paying $95 for like one tiny little lamp piece. It's not even a figure. It's like just the light, but it is kind of cool because it does light up, but it's just, I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to purchase it because it's kind of like just ridiculous. Um, so that is it for me today. Is this another 30 minute video? I don't even know because I did like stop three times during today's video. There might be a little bit of editing in this one. But let me know if you guys kind of like these chill kind of hauls because I thought I could do another one on this channel because I went to Uncommon Objects today and I can't even believe it. It was my first time going there this year. Like I had um, my friends who like own Uncommon and work at Uncommon come down here to help me set up this filming room. So I have seen them this year, but I haven't really had the chance to just like go up to Austin and hang out, which is so bizarre for me. Cause I feel like normally I go to Austin at least once a month just to kind of like hang out, de-stress and all that. But I feel like I've just been working on so many projects and everything that I really have not had any relaxation or downtime this year at all. So it was really nice going today seen a lot of my friends but it was it was also just really shocking to me that I had not been in the store like literally I don't think once all year so I did get some items I didn't get a ton but I did get this really awesome cabinet and it's like somebody it's like a silver cabinet and somebody wrote like I don't know just random weather like they kept track of like the year the day and like if it was like a record high or a record low and then some of them they did like holidays and they wrote down like easter of like 1978 or whatever and then they wrote like what the temperature was i have no idea where this came from um it's, i mean it's somewhere it was like it's like from some state <laughs> state um because it's in like fahrenheit and stuff so at least we know it was like and we were told it was like picked from like somewhere in the states but i don't know like kind of where this came from but it's just it was so fascinating and it was just like a piece that like talked to me i had to get it uh and then i just got like some other i just came home with like one little bag but i don't know it might be kind of fun to like do like I kind of did today, which was like a vlog and a haul. Once again, just kind of let me know what you guys think about videos like this on this channel. This is a little bit more structured. It's not just like kind of all talking. So I think I will title this one something different because I'm kind of reserving the Twilight Zone titles for vlogs that are just like strictly me talking. So I think kind of like reserving those kind of titles will maybe help people navigate a little bit better on this channel even though this is kind of like vlogging too i don't know we will see when i upload it what this is called uh but i will see you guys who knows maybe tomorrow maybe the next day maybe the day after that i don't know this is like two days in a row i feel like we're on a roll here with this channel um but hopefully you guys don't mind and thank y'all for hanging out with me today and thank y'all for watching and thank y'all so much for all of your comments i have really been enjoying i was reposting some comments from this channel on snapchat today uh but like i said i just love all the stories that you guys have been telling me uh when you watch these videos and kind of like what you're doing i think my favorite comment that i saw last time is somebody said that they listen to these vlogs as they're doing like barn chores and i guess they like take care of cows and all kinds of cool stuff like that and i don't know it's just so much fun because you know just like telling stories like that lets me get to know you guys a little bit better and i've really just been i don't i don't know if like intimate energy is like the proper word to use but it's just kind of like uh once again i i don't even want to say the same thing again that i've been saying every single time i upload on this channel but it's just been so cool that you guys have really been uh sharing a lot of stuff with me and um I don't know, I, I guess I'm just like a hog for positive feedback lately and so it's just really enjoyable to hear that not only am I really enjoying coming here and making these videos for you guys, but you guys are just like enjoying listening to them while you're like making dinner, or whatever else that you guys may need to get done during the day. So thank y'all for hanging out with me and I hope y'all are having an awesome day and I love y'all so much and take care and uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> love y'all, bye.